Agbado Kyodo local council development area was carved out of the old Alimosha local government. It led to the emergence of new communities, one of which is Peace Estate. As the name implies, it is a serene environment bounded by the military barracks in the command area of the local government. One unique feature of this noble community is the relationship that exists amongst the tribes that domicile in it. With the relationship, it was easy to form a community development association with the primary aim of partnering with government to bring development closer to the people and also to safeguard public infrastructure provided it by government. When they handed over this road to us, they said we must not be doing mechanic work on it because oil and other things like that, they are going to make sure that the, it erodes the surface of the, of the road. And that is happening now. And the whole community has said we don't want it. The good work that uh, the governor is doing, some people want to throw spanner in the wheel of progress. So we are here to tell the mechanic that is here, again, we are saying it openly, that you should please pack your things away from here. We don't want to see you on the road. It is not for you to maintain vehicle on the road. It is bad for the road. This road was constructed with taxpayers' money. That is why we made it mandatory. We don't see anybody parking sand along the street. We don't allow him or allow the person to go free. We must punish him. And the government has provided pipe bone water for us. Or many times without question, the community bring out pots, bring out money from their pots, they repair the, uh, the borehole. Peace Estate does not look like a community in need of public infrastructure when Lagos Community Updates visited. But was it a jolly ride? Community members took us down memory lane. We are now in our own heavens because looking at where we are coming from, you cannot drive through this environment. Coming here, in fact, walk, you cannot even use the Okada to come here. But you see, we have had good leadership because all these are the efforts of the good leadership chairman that we have had that said that no, they stamp their feet on the floor that this place must develop and we must leave a legacy for our children. We started building in this area since about um, 1992, three, there about. People started buying land here. And from that time, we have been building and we are coming. And um, we formed the Association of Peace Estate Community Development Association. So that is the brief history, but the most important thing is that it's a very peaceful area and we work in unison and we work to develop our estate. This area was completely a bushy area. It was just like an, a village of Ecola in itself. A village, no motorable road, no, no visible uh, well-built houses around. What you want to be by that is 1999. So nigba ta de bi few people lo wa n bi bai but pelu few people yen na won fi owo so wo po won jo bere si sise to je pe ni pa pe kan ma ko le si kan ma ko le si o nje ki awon eyan to wa ni gboro kan ni interest ninu peace estate lati ko wa si bi knowing fully well that the Lagos state government under the leadership of governor Akiumi Ambode is a responsible and responsive government in making life less cumbersome for members of the fourth tier of government in the state. Members of this peaceful community believe that with constant initiation of self-help developmental projects, it will lessen the burden at the center and make life more enjoyable for all. Most of the people living around this area are elites who are probably retired from their paid job who wanted a comfortable environment for them and their family. So they find out that government alone cannot complement its effort, but they have to do their own little quota to complement government effort. That's the result you are seeing. Every member in this peace state uses whatever the resources he or she has, put them together and for the progress, most especially when we talk about development. We determine within ourselves, it is not everything the government has to do for us. As we come together in peace, unity and love and development, every resources come from each individual pocket, depending on how much you can contribute. One of the government efforts 
there, if you go to the other street there, there's a borehole there that the government dug. Um, about 2006, there about, I can't remember precisely. But I'm telling you that the borehole is still working today because we, on our own, we are doing the maintenance that needed to be done. Anytime that we see a pothole and things like that, we make sure that we cover it up. And even on our own, we provided the street, uh, the bre speed breakers because of our children. Because when, after the road has been done, you know, people started running anyhow. So we had to do speed breaker by ourselves to complement what the government did. According to the executive members of the CDA, the community was able to stand the test of time because 80% of its projects, ranging from grading and asphalting of roads to construction of drainage and provision of electricity poles, amongst others, were communally done. I can't remember many times we have graded this our road on our own accord. Many times we have put in place security on our own because we have collective goal and that collective goal is purely on development basis. Some that have, have been working since all these days, last year we gave them an award. You understand? We gave them an award, we made a plaque, we had certificate which, we, which were given to the members in order to motivate them. We have barracks very close to us. They were having like, we try as much as possible to see if we can get something from them. Though we got something for a little time. But we have to look inward and see what are we going to do by ourselves. And because of that, the community comes together. We now bought poles, about 100 poles. Initially, we used wooden poles around the whole community so that we, can, we bought the poles by ourselves, the wire. During, we did the work by ourselves. So after we finish all those stuff, now we need to even, there, there comes a time that those poles, they were falling because they are wooden poles. If you go around now, you see that we have concrete poles. We have very few wooden poles now. As members continue to agitate for more development, they want private and public organizations to tilt their corporate social responsibilities in their direction. When people contribute money and they see what we have used the money for, and they'll be eager to contribute more even when you ask for more. And that is what I see in Peace Estate. We need the complement of the government to help us as grading is concerned, and especially the issue of drainage. Uh, ni Peace Estate, Gegebache Motebawo, at Nibi almost 10 streets, with many people starting in near Dubai. So, Nisi, I will be written here for Peace Estate, you took Pogon. So many people know why any piece of it. I go a lot of gege, lot of shodi, lot of mushi. So I go easy for a lot of bad alosi be a lot of loma tajamo. So any piece of it, I go she to be to to that. I la do to buy. I feel like job are not well over. Can we do our jasi le from one be? I de promise we go. I'm a maintain our jaya da da. We want to appreciate the leadership of the day. That's the Ambodi led leadership. The Ambodi led administration. Because he has done so much, we are feeling his impact here. But like Oliver Twist, we want to add more, ask for more. We need computers to begin to, come, to take our people from here to begin to benefit the benefit of the fourth tier government, bringing the government nearer to the people. So that our people can feel the impact of the fourth tier government. 